Hey, good morning, guys. This is John Phillips. Don't look too too bad this morning. Feeling a lot better, my friends. I made some good food yesterday. Some Italian sausage with uh, lots of uh, kale and uh, onion, carrot, mushrooms. And I tore that stuff up. And I'm happy to report to you I had a good crap today. Uh, just keeping it real, guys. Anyways, I'm off. I got to go put a water heater in this morning. This guy called me three weeks ago. Wanted a water heater. I was supposed to do it the next day. I picked it up. I've been toting this thing around. It's been in my garage. Gussie ate half of the box. Uh, this guy's kind of a pain in the ass. Every time I talk to him, he's like, well, let me see if I have a phone call at that time. I'm like, dude, you think I'm just hanging around fucking, you know, sitting in a parking lot somewhere waiting for you to get an opening? That's not how it works. As you can see, I'm full of piss and vinegar this morning. Ready to fucking kiss it. Kick, not kiss ass. Kick ass and take names, man. Anyways... Uh, this guy, one of his things is, can you make sure that the date on the water heater is as new as possible? Because I I need to change it every 10 years, according to my uh, condo association document. So I need the newest water heater you can find. I was like, okay, but I got one. I bought it three weeks ago, and that's what you're getting. So, anyways, I'm heading that way. I'm going to knock that out. It's going to be simple. It's the houses, the, the condo. I actually used to live in this community. Uh, when I went into business, that's where I was living. Little condo place. Uh, renting. $750 a month. Those days are long gone. Um, but uh, they sold all the apartments off as condos. And this guy owns about three or four of them, supposedly. And uh, it's all CPVC, so it's going to be snip, snip, glue it back together, and hit the fucking road. Give me the cash, my friend. Uh, but it is plumbing, so it'll get my hopes up. All right, I'll see you when I get there. Hey, guys, so this is, uh, this is where I lived when I started my business. It's a nice place, comfortable, and uh, I'll tell you what I did. I was paying. I was paying seven hundred and fifty dollars a month rent, and I went and bought a house, and I I had accumulated a lot of money. My first couple of years were very, very successful. I had major cash, and I told the told the bank. I said I only want to borrow enough so that my 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 payment's going to be seven hundred and fifty dollars a month for my new house. So I put the rest down in cash, and. Uh, yeah, worked out good. 20 years later, I'm still in that house. And uh, I just drove by a guy in a Porsche. He's probably the guy that I'm gonna be working for. Uh, yeah, that's probably him calling me. This dude, that's him. He's driving the, the Porsche 911 Carrera. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm not sure which one it is. The guy owns the fucking house and you don't even know where it is. How you like that? 
a YouTube star, my friend. Uh, all right, guys. So this is the water heater. I'm going to replace the pan. Uh, I'm going to put a new shutoff valve because that valve up there is about $2 and it's worthless. Uh, so it's CPVC. The unit's been piped in CPVC. I actually lived here. Oh, I, I lived in 2022 when I uh, went into business in 1997. And I actually watched these units be built. <laughs> I'll be there. I've been here for 35 years. Uh, yeah, so let me go uh, get my stuff. You want me to help you pull this guy out? Maybe. Um, oh, it's not too bad. That's all I need, bud. I don't need any more room than that. It's going to take me about an hour, okay? Perfect. We got power here. Do you know where the electrical panel is? Um, because I need to turn that. Wow, yeah. these are different. Let's find the water heater. You have better eyes than I do? No. I don't. <laughs> What's that say? Air handler? Air handler. It should be water heater. It should be, should be yeah, it should be one of these. That's range. Um, hot water heater. Up one up from the AC. Okay, I'll check it. All right, my friend, let me get my stuff and uh, we'll get rolling here, okay?
my handy dandy Inch and seven sixteen socket guys. Make your life a lot quicker. Hear that pump in there running? I'm listening for it.
the Pride 25 countries. Mediterranean, North Atlantic. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, I, I wasn't uh, heartbroken when I got out. But now, you know, as time goes by, I I really look back on it fondly. Yeah, you know, I think the same. It helped me. And I... It's amazing how the stuff that you learn sticks with you for your whole life, yeah. you know? Yeah, just, if nothing else, uh, getting up in the morning, right? Make yeah, happen. absolutely. Never let my hair grow long after being in the Navy. Uh, little stuff like that, you yeah. know. Kind of squared me away. <sighs> what kind of work do you do, my friend? I'm a sales manager for a... Uh... Australian manufacturer. Nice. I do things like uh, parking garage uh, facades. Wow. What brought you here to Sarasota? Oh, uh, a, a couple, a couple jobs ago. Uh, I could work from anywhere, so. nice place yeah. if you're gonna have to be somewhere this isn't a bad place to be Not at all. Not at all. I looked at a lot of places in Florida and I like the vibe here you know just the just more to, laid back yeah not so flashy and uh, it's getting, it's a lot different than it was when I moved here, but I I don't mind it. Same, now it feels like season all year long. Yeah, unfortunately. The good thing is, though, this, and it was no master plan by me, but when I'm ready to sell my house, that's going to be... Nice retirement. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> you know, if you bought something 20 years ago in Sarasota, you're going to be okay. I've got an acre of land with a, uh, with a guest house. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to turn this like this. Okay. So it's a little easier to access for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like adjusting the temperature and the yeah, everything. Draining it. Yeah, that's gonna work. So we'll go with that. Then someone put a new ball valve on for you. Okay. Put them on like a 45. Alright, so I'm just 
success are you having on YouTube I'm doing pretty good I mean I started a little over a year ago okay and I've got I've got about 650 subscribers but my my views are way up you know like 40,000 a month Wow you know which is I just need to before I can monetize it yeah I need to I need to get to a thousand subscribers ah. and uh, this is how they they make a little money up front before they have to stop paying you right right <laughs> you know what I mean because yep. my views definitely outweigh you know I'll post something and within a few hours I'm over a thousand views and that's way more than uh, the people that are subscribed, right? You know what I mean? So yep. I have other people watching and they're recommending it actually You know YouTube is Suggesting my site And are, are you All plumbing related? Yep. Just anything? Well, no plumbing and politics. Okay. I keep it interesting <laughs> I am a Yankee, and I'm in the Deep South, and uh, <laughs> I have a lot to say. I'm not happy with a lot of things, but, uh, you know. What do you do, right? <laughs> I, I just, I, I, you know, I just try to show that, you know, we really do have more in common than our differences, and uh, we let politicians drive us apart. For their own ambition and uh you know but i'm an unabashed liberal <laughs> and uh it's funny though we i get i love having conversate i think the conversations with the customers are some of the best uh videos you know i bet and it's it's uh it's real America, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not, you know, what the news is telling you. It's from actual Americans. So. Let's see. Is that one the push to fit? Yes, it is. And it's, a, it's an expensive valve, but they're great. I use them, I've been using them since 2004, and uh, they're just incredible. <laughs> um, it's a good solid brass valve, you know. Just amazed that they could figure that out. You can push a plastic pipe into a well, metal fitting. You know, it's funny because, man, 40 years ago, guys were putting water pipes together and they've got a three foot pipe wrench and, you know, they're talking things down. Oh, yeah. They're just afraid. And now we've come to the point where, you know, you push an O-ring. O-rings are a great product. You know what I mean? They they use them on the space shuttle. I mean they. I saw how that worked out. <laughs> well, I was I was I was hoping you didn't realize that, but yeah, <laughs> I I know what you mean though. <laughs>
you know, that, that shuttle, the shuttle that blew up because of O-rings, or, well, no, no, the first one that blew up, blew up because of the panels flopping off, right? The heat the shields coming in. Yeah. Yeah, the heat shields, the yeah. woman who was a teacher from Massachusetts. Um, but the, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. That's going to go right. This one's going to be fine. Um, I was in boot camp when that first one blew up. And we were, I was out in San Diego and we were, I was on the drill team, you know, with all the musicians and uh, people. And um, it was a pretty sad day. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I don't remember that one where I was, but. That was in 1985 or the very beginning of 86. Because I, I went in in December of 85. December 2nd, I shipped out. From the, uh... I'm watching you. I've been doing my sprinklers because I got new sod. Uh-huh. Uh, I go to the store and I, I buy like 50 fittings because I never know which one's going to need. That's the thing with plumbing. I've got a million things on my truck. And unfortunately, sometimes I need a million and one. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> no, that's plumbing, man. That is plumbing, my friend, in a nutshell. You never know. Nope. So, uh, so you guys out there who want to own your own business, <laughs> let me tell you what I just went through. So I finished this water heater at about quarter to 12. The guy that I put it in for was in a real hurry. He works for some Australian company and he's always on conference calls and all this shit. So I, I just got all my shit out of the unit so he could leave quick. Well, I clean everything up and realize that my goddamn camera, my, U, my uh, GoPro is in the unit. So I call the guy up and I say, hey, how far are you from here? And he just left 10 minutes early, but he says, I'm 35 minutes away. So I'm like, okay, I mean, that's him saying I'm not coming back. He said, but all you got to do is go to the office and they'll give you the key to get back in. I go to the fucking office and the cocksuckers went to lunch early. They left about five minutes before noon and they closed from 12 to 1. So I'm like, sitting around and I was like you know what I'm gonna run over I'm gonna do this other service call I had a little a woman of I was there a couple weeks ago for a toilet but she stopped up her kitchen sink I went in there and hit it with a plunger and told her Merry Christmas uh, I get back to the place it's about 1230 and a maintenance guy drives up and I say, hey, man, I need to get in this unit. You know, I've got this whole string of texts. I've got the check from the guy. I've got the invoice for the water heater. I got the old heater in my truck. I just need to get in there and get my key. I mean, my uh, camera. He says, oh, we can't do that due to insurance purposes. And I'm like, okay. But he was just the maintenance guy. So I'm still, I got a half hour to go before the, the big wigs in the office show up, you know? So they finally show up. I go in and I talk to the guy. I say, hey man, you know, I did a job over here. I forgot my camera. The homeowner says, you have a key. That's why I'm here. He told me 
me to come get it or get you to let me in. And he says, well, I need to hear it directly from the homeowner. Well, the fucking homeowner's on a goddamn conference call with Australia for fucking two hours. So I'm sitting there and this guy just walks away from me and, and just leaves me like, fuck it. You know, I, it took me two hours to get my camera back. And I was ready to fucking beat them all up. By the time I left, I'm fucking arguing with the guy. He's like, well, what if you go in there and you steal something? I was like, listen, motherfucker. I'm not a fucking thief, for one thing. I go in 20 fucking houses a day. I don't steal. And he's like, well, I didn't say you steal. I said, well, what the fuck does that mean? What if you go in and steal something? Anyways. Yeehaw! It's Monday. And uh, I'm still good. The guy's like, let me just... And then one of the maintenance guys fucking barked something at me. And I turned around. I was like, you say something to me? <laughs> I was ready to have a full-on fucking riot with these guys, man. Like five of them. Uh, maybe I'm going to try a little decaf tomorrow. Um, you know, sitting in your truck for two fucking hours to get a camera that you just worked in the house for fucking two hours and you didn't steal anything. I can't run back in for two minutes and grab my camera. Just don't make sense to me. All this bullshit and bureaucracy about insurance. Well, it's my insurance. I hate when I hear that. My insurance. Fuck the insurance industry. Running off, ruining our fucking lives. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go do something I'm good at. I'm gonna unstop somebody's tub. Clear the fucking ass hairs and soap scum. And uh, probably get sick, but I'm gonna wear gloves, boys. I got my gloves. I do have gloves, man. I just never put them on. I don't know if you guys noticed. My nephew, when he was working, he don't wear gloves either, man. We don't do that shit down here in Florida, man. We're all new construction guys. We don't need no goddamn fucking... The only time I need Playtex or fucking whatever the fuck it's latex. You know when you need latex. When you're at the condom, minium, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the blood was fucking boiling. Alright, so this... This is a uh, yeah. regular customer, but he's got a tub drain that's slow. You realize this is down, right? That lever oh. was down. Oh, jeez, let me say. No, I, I think it's still on. Turn it off and see if it's draining. little slow I'll run the cable through it okay how is that turning that cartridge on easy or is it hard to turn the valve on the valve you mean the uh, faucet oh is it easy or you have to really yank on no, it no it's not it's easy it, it's easy yeah okay good let me just run the cable through that for you my friend okay and the other one's a little slow too let but... me see the other one okay uh, that's uh you're from Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, we're from Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm ma'am. Okay. Don't worry. About You're on candid camera. Yeah. <laughs> Just what you I want. I wasn't doing anything dumb. Just lying <laughs> okay. Well, uh, this one was. Everybody little... loves to be on camera as soon as they yeah, open their eyes, right? Yeah, I know. I know. Oh yeah, that's what that. Holy moly! Like you gotta. Yeah, you got a little uh, spray heading off to the uh, side here. Okay. All right. Why are you doing that? 
You want a new shower head or what? I mean, I don't have a fancy one like that, but I've got some. I've got a really nice mowing shower head. It's got good pressure. All right, both of your drains are stopped. They're slow. Yeah. So the toilet's flushing good. Yeah, they're good. And the I mean, they're not. Yeah, they're not coming up into the shower or anything. All right, my friend. are good. I mean, it's. Okay. All right, I'll put a shower head on for you. Okay, great. Yeah, appreciate the good service, Jason. No problem. Mm -hmm. I would have, uh, I don't even want to get into what I just went through. <laughs> I, I, I can only imagine. <laughs> Two hours of fun. This, this is a great subdivision, guys. I've been here all the time. A couple hundred houses. And, uh... Keeps me busy. Alright, guys, so... we got a slow day in here. Slow brain, yo. Oh, damn, I forgot my gloves. Mia. A little tough. this out. Yeah, that's great. Nothing really on that. What I'm going to do is clean this off and see how dry that is. I'm going to put a little put a grease on it before I'm done. <clears throat> Put it in reverse, the drill, and it actually drives. the super mean reverse.
thing's draining. That thing's draining like I was draining on Thursday and Friday, if you know what I mean. I like the garbage better than this this one, but what I want to do is I'm gonna hold this. See, I can hear that. I can hear it bottoming out in that T, so I know it's adjusted properly. I'm also gonna put a little bit of a little bit of that pocket stuff on there. Just makes it go in a little bit easier, you know what I'm saying? Whoops. A smart plumber would have a rag over that drain. Not like I said, I was the smartest plumber out there. All right, so I greased the plunger. Basically, put some grease on these screws. Should be working all right. <sighs> Definitely want to make sure you get to that tight, guys. That gasket behind there needs to be compressed. Or every time somebody gets in the tub, the tub's going to go up, it's going to overflow, and if that gasket's not tight back there, it's a problem. Especially on a second floor. Yeah, you don't want your bath water dripping into your soup, you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, this is my 300th video. That's pretty good, man. My first video was about my truck. My in, my 
introduction to me and my truck back in August of 2021 called the war the war wagon pretty much went through my whole truck it's been fun since learned, learned a lot And I still enjoy it, man. Respect your customers' homes. Keep them clean. And if they can't hear you, then you can swear. But if they can, what you like? Okay, we're done here, man. I think I changed that cartridge out for this guy. Hear that? If this were leaking, listen. Pay attention, guys. For you young boys out there just starting. Listen. Hear that? Hear that little trickle? That's a tub drain that's not adjusted properly. When a tub drain's adjusted properly, you're not going to hear any noise, all right? You don't want to over adjust it because you want the full throw. You want that thing open as much as it can be. So, you know, you've got to know what you're doing. You've got to adjust it. You don't want it too, too low or too high. You want it just right, you know what I'm saying? Like the porridge. All right guys, you see in there? I'm trying to get the right light. See that black O-ring in there? Down in there? That's the flow restrictor. And uh, we're gonna take it out just because these people already have a big head in here that's probably giving them more water, but really should have a pick. Okay guys, so that's the flow restrictor. Just by taking that out, you'll get a, a better shower. You can see it's gone now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shower off. The shower head, there's a bunch of stuff hanging on it. Try to get it off without dropping anything. See that? That's got a flow restrictor in it too. On top of that, it also had a washer in right here. Which we're doing away with. <coughs> I'm gonna hit it with some
before you do this guys before you install a new head always always turn the valve on good practice you don't want to fill up a brand new faucet or aerator or shower head with a bunch of crap Trimming out houses, always take all the aerators out on test out. You see I'm using pliers with no teeth. For the critics. For the critics. Journal logs. So I, I really like the spray pattern on these mowing heads. Look at that. Really nice and strong. Lots of jet. It's a nice head, man. This handle's loose. I need to tighten that up for a while. Next thing is this. This drain, which I'm going to shoot this water to the back of the shower, over the top of this. See how quick that filled up? That's right in the trap, guys. Otherwise, the, the, the pinchers will just ride down the table.
get in here with this son of a gun. Shower heads catching me right in the side of the head. different cable in it because I'm not going to be spending time swapping cables out depending on what I get into that's the super V I grab about 350 bucks and uh, it's a great tool once you learn how to use it if you're a newbie you'll probably ruin a few cables but once you learn how to keep that cable straight and not push so hard, you'd be good. Alright guys, so we got a new shower head mowing. Cleared the drain. Tightened up this handle. We're all good. Sir? I just wanted to let them know when I'm done here. That shower was stopped up like immediately. As soon as I turned the water on without the strainer on, uh, it filled right up. So. Uh, no, as soon as you, you turn the water on. What's that? Wait, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. All right. When I turned the water on with the strainer off, oh, okay. I watched the water immediately come up in the drain. Right. So, and it was holding a lot of water in there. So I ran it. It's good. You're all it's set. Good now. Okay. Oh, the strainer with. Oh, okay. That was. Okay. Gotcha. Very good. Hey, appreciate it. It was just a. This one has been that way a while, and yeah, we had some other people down and. The other one was really slow. Yeah, let me show you this head. 
Yeah. I took this. This is not going to be an issue with this thing behind this discussion. Oh, okay. The water never gets that high. Okay. That's why right. we don't okay. need to call right. them. Okay, sure. But that's a really good yeah. spray pattern. It's no, comfortable. It's no, it's good. Yeah, it's a good no, mowing it's head. No, it's that other one and all you have to do on these mowing is push on these okay. to clean them. Oh, you know, okay. if you get a little sure. bit of junk on oh, okay. them or algae I understand. over yeah, time. Sure. Good. Yeah. All right, it's going to be eight hundred and thirty-two dollars. I threw the uh, the shower head in for free. Oh. Just right. you know, so you feel like you know, like when you go to Publix and they say you saved four dollars. Oh yeah, I know. I, know. I want you to feel I like know. you saved some money. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah, I'm kidding. I never feel like I save money when I go to Publix for some uh, reason. I know. I know what you mean. It's going to be 175 though. Okay, no problem. All right. That's, that's, what, that's fair. That's good. That's good. Wow. Oops. You going to pay me, Kenneth? I'll pay you cash, yeah. Yeah, take, just give me 160 Okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I got one I didn't let you see either. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. There you go. All right. Hey, thank a you, man. Continuing effort to defund the government. I know. You know? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're going to screw there. I know. I know. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate it. Yeah. Don't no sweat, my friend. friend. I appreciate no you. No problem. When did you guys get in? No, we just got in on the, I guess it was. Uh, well, after, Saturday we get in. Oh, after Thanksgiving, yeah. you spend yeah. the holiday up there. Yeah, we did. With yeah. your family. Yeah, yeah, we did. Nice. But, uh, we won't be here long. I'm still working. I have a place really? in Georgia. So. In Georgia. Yeah, in Southwest Georgia. Uh huh. So. Uh, Someday you'll be right. down here full time. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We'll be we'll be here down here probably five or six times this winter. Good. Be here for a couple How long does it take you to drive here? Uh, from Georgia is five hours. I'm That's southwest Georgia. No, it's not too bad. Yeah. But I'm, you know, I have a place in Pennsylvania, so I go up there. I'm up there too, so kind of all over the place. Yeah. Pennsylvania's beautiful, man. Yeah. yeah. You ever get up there? Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm from Rhode Island, but when I was in the Navy, yeah. uh, I got stationed. I went to boot camp in San Diego. Then they sent me to A school in Chicago, Waukegan, right. Illinois. Oh wow. And I flew home, and right. I had a car, and I drove my car back to oh, Waukegan. Wow. Oh, okay. And I actually ran a taxi service for all the guys. Oh, is that and right? I, yeah, I'd run. I had a big car, oh, and I'd go. Okay. I'd take guys to O'Hare Airport right, or yeah. to Racine, Wisconsin. To, oh, I see. Okay. Because you could drink when you were 18. Yeah, and, well, there you go. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah. um, driving through uh, Pennsylvania, right. I got on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, mm -hmm. and that was the longest damn road I've ever been on oh, in my yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, it is I long. fell asleep in a in a, uh, um, a truck stop. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Surely. Yeah, I fell asleep in a truck stop and right. it snowed. Right. And when I woke up, my car was like covered. Like I couldn't <laughs> see out the window. There oh, was geez. so much yeah, snow. Yeah, it happens quick. Yeah. And I, I was, uh, I didn't make it back to the base on time. I oh. was UA, unauthorized oh, absence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You didn't get any much of a no, problem. No, they were no. cool. I mean, well, I just, I was stuff. just a young pup. Yeah, you know? I know, I know. Okay. They're like, don't let it happen again. Okay. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys. Look at these people. This is 
what retirement is about. Come down here, pay cash, sell your fucking house up north, pay cash for a nice little place like these, and your neighbors come by, you sit out. Howdy! It's a real nice day today, boys. Made a little bit of change. You know what I'm saying? Another day in the low. Whoa, what the fuck is all that, man? So what, what's wrong with this picture? Seems to be a big pile of shit right in the middle of the road. fucking tree guy but that looks like a pile of shit in the middle of the road to me. Alright guys so I'm gonna show you something here. This place when you move down here you want to eat here every night. It's an Amish buffet. You cannot possibly eat enough food um, every, everybody in there looks like Mrs. Butterworth, and they're very nice, and I don't think I'm gonna, this is over where my health food store is, but I'm, I'm gonna bypass that for now, I'm a little gun shy after what happened to me the last time I went there, I don't know if they're the culprit, but I ain't taking no damn chances. Alright guys, it's been another successful day as a plumbing contractor in the United States of America, in Florida in particular, Southwest Florida. Um, to all my brothers out there in the plumbing industry, I hope you had a safe day. God bless you. And let's get up in the morning and do it all over again. That's what we do, boys. That's what we do. <laughs> Have a great day. This is my 300th video, guys. For you people clamoring for more of my fucking antics and stupidity. And, you know, I got issues, guys. But it's fun to watch. It's like a train wreck, you know? Anyways, have a great day.